fit a wireless network card we need to disconnect the computer from power sources and other cables good idea to put it on a table or a workbench at a convenient height so it's easy to work on first off we need to remove the panels although in this clip you will see that I'm re removing both side panels of the case but there is only need to remove one and that is the right hand side panel that is when you're looking from the rear of the computer undo the two retaining screws you will need a Phillips head screwdriver or a small socket to do this task Probably a good idea also to have the vacuum cleaner handy as when you remove this particular panel good idea with a soft brush attachment to vacuum out lint, dust and any other gunk that may have accumulated within the case and on the components. Take a firm grip of the panel and pull it back towards you. This will unseat it from the clips and allow you to put them to one side. Now we need to uh, put our anti-static wrist strap on here and as you can see we're looking at these bare PCI um, slots on the motherboard layout. In this case there are three. We have now selected our wireless card and we will insert it into one of the vacant PCI slots. Just firmly push it in nice and evenly until it clicks into place. You will then secure it with a Phillips head screw or small socket. Probably need to go back a couple of steps. Um, if you have a new case and there is no access to the back panel you will need to just pry out one of the perforated metal sections off the chassis to allow you to insert the card. Here the card is inserted all we need to do now is to screw on the aerials. In this particular case there are three. Again don't over tighten, tighten them. Once we have completed this task, just put the aerials or arrange them in an upright manner. And later on, depending on how far you are away or your computer is away from the wireless modem, will depend on how you then rearrange them to get maximum signal strength. Now we can put the right hand panel back on again, uh, push it forward towards the front of the computer to lock the pins in place and then you can fix the panel on with the screws provided. Once done reconnect your computer to power monitor keyboard, mouse, etc. and then boot your computer. Depending on your operating system, generally it, if it's Windows 7 it will find the appropriate driver and install it for the wireless card. If you need to install the software program, um, put the disk in and run the installation disk and then uh, you will look for available wireless networks and hook up to your wireless network and put in your appropriate password, security code, etc. 
And that's it. The job is done. Congratulations. <laughs>